welcome. And thank you for coming and watching today. You'll be watching Deeper Insights, of course, the Prophet Julius's show. I'll be your host. I'm Dr. Ken, co-founder of the Marketplace Network. And it's very important you grab a piece of paper and a pencil because I think the Prophet's going to go off today. We've scheduled him and it's been real hard to get him with his speaking engagements and the things that he does. It's about time we finally got him in the, set, uh, the studio to teach the viewer again what God's saying in his time. Prophet, thank you so much for doing your show and doing the things you do. What do you have for the people today? What are we going to talk about? It's, we're going to go deeper into the manifestation of preaching and healing. Oh, God, let's do it. Sounds good. All right. Because there's a scripture that, that we always hear, right? We always, we always look at it in the Bible. But this time, I invite everybody to open our Bible once again. Okay, this is the part that when, when we read the Bible, it's in the New Testament, so a lot of people are familiar with this. I shall read it in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 23. It's just one, just one verse. And Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases among the people period that's it okay Ooh. so I will I will just do that this just this just this scripture here it speaks volume see Jesus was doing it in all over Galilee he's not just only in one house He's not just only in one residency or one address. He's doing about it in all Galilee. Mm. See how big that Galilee is? Of course, it's bigger than any, any of the churches nowadays. But because we're talking about a city here. Amen. And Jesus is doing it. And it says here very clearly in this passage, Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues. So he went to all the temples. Wow. Again, Jesus went to all the temples. You have to understand this. Jesus is a bona fide rabbi. He's a bona fide teacher. He can do, he can go anywhere, any synagogue, okay? He's not like a stranger to the, to the Torah or to the book of Moses. So when we read the Bible, when we read about it, do we look at it? See, let, I want people to look into it deeper. Imagine. Imagine Jesus going into your church. What would Jesus see? See, he goes to all the churches. And what, what do, in today, 2024, what would Jesus see if, if Jesus was, Jesus was Galilee, and we are one of the churches that Jesus will visit? What would he see? Mm. This is what's happening there. He just said it. Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness. Wow. See that preaching and healing, you cannot have either or. Again, when we preach, there should be manifestation. Some people preach their eloquence of speech, very nice. But they just went about better. Why? Imagine this, while he is preaching, he's not doing anything, he's just, on, he's just talking. Healing is already happening. Not laying hands, mm -mm. not doing anything, okay? Mm -mm -mm. So this is a different level of healing right here. Imagine doing your regular preaching and all of a sudden people are getting healed left and right. Mm -hmm. That's good, sir. You see that this scripture is very clear here. Healing all manner of sickness. That means sickness has an attitude. Mm. It says their manner of sickness. So, so... So there is an attitude for sickness. There should be an attitude for healing. Mm. Jesus, when he when he is preaching, look at it this way. He's serious about the people. Okay, because he knows that there's a, there's a lot of disease there. He he says that he it was healed all manner of sickness. So whatever their diseases, their discomfort, it is Jesus addressed it there. So I will close the Bible. So how many congregations do we know do address healing right there and there, not just preaching mm. for the sake of Sunday service? 
Oh, we have a lot of uh, uh, prayer warrior, mm. right? So even so, before the the prayer warrior arrive in church, healing is already there. Amen. Why? Jesus is already talking. Wow. See that? Again, we we need to go deeper into the. We should meditate on it. And this is where the beauty of the gospel. It happened in, when Jesus was alive a couple of years ago, thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. And Jesus or God doesn't change. Ask ourselves, why is our congregation no healing in there? Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, why is it a lot of people are sick going to, to the expense of putting money left and right and then using church funding for that? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people misuse the church funding. That's good. Okay, so that's, this is the reality of ministry. This is the ministry that God ordained in the Bible. He was preaching the kingdom, not anything else. So in the pulpit, we're not allowed to preach personal agenda. Good word. So when, when we want the manifestation, preaching about the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. So we don't, we don't, we don't talk about the world. That's why healing is supernatural. Good word. It's nothing to do with your next door neighbor. It is, you know, imagine that you're going to church and, and after that you're completely healed of whatever people have. So that means you will have no complaining about sickness, no drama in your family. Your husband or wife will not bother you every night. Why? Because healing is there in the church, in the synagogue. Okay, so when the Bible speaks synagogue, it speaks about modern churches. So who goes there? God goes there. So in that church, God needs to be present to have healing. It doesn't need to be a pastor or anybody. God needs to be there. That's why when God speaks, healing is there. So a lot of people are, you know, they're thinking like, oh, I'm already a believer for 10 years, but I'm, I'm suffering here. Why? They know the scripture. They don't meditate. Mm. Okay, you have the bread, but do you eat it? Mm. They have the wine, but do you, do you, do you really do it? Wow. I'm talking about the New Testament and the Old Testament. The Old Testament is a bread. The wine is representing the New Testament. Mm -hmm. So put it together, you have the Bible. Mm -hmm. See that? that is the, this is what we carry every day. The complete Bible, all the New Testament. So when you only talk about the New Testament, you're just talking about the blood. But you remove the, the, the bread, it doesn't make sense. Mm. That's good. So Jesus is already the bread. And he was, he was preaching all over, all over the town. Imagine that. He's his own personal walking completely better than a hospital. Just the way he does, just the, just the moment he speaks. Imagine that if somebody just speaks to you, you're already healed. Wow. And you, and you said to yourself, oh, what happened to me? Uh, uh, okay, there goes my, my teeth. They're coming back to, they have new teeth now. You don't need to go to the dentist to have an implant. A great word. Mm -hmm. See that? Imagine those miracles in that time. All manner of sickness are being addressed. And yet people just because of headache, they don't know what to do. And this is modern day Christian now, mm. please. Why is that? Tylenol is better than your faith? Mm. No way. See, even when I became a believer, I stopped taking Tylenol. I stopped doing a lot of things in the hospital. Why? Because when I read the Bible, healing is there. Mm. I don't need to go anywhere. And then people say, what do you mean? Uh, do you don't need to, uh, you don't attend service. God is in my house. <laughs> oh, so healing is there. So in this live broadcast, healing is here right now. Asia. See that when we speak it, healing is activated. 
Imagine Jesus was there, but he didn't, didn't do anything. He didn't speak. He's just standing up. You think he will be healing? No way. He mm -hmm. says there very clear. He was preaching the kingdom. So he's not modeling the kingdom. He's saying the kingdom. A lot of people are modeling the kingdom. But they don't, they don't talk it. They don't speak it. It doesn't, it doesn't come to life. In the scripture, it says, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So if there's nobody talking, no manifestation. Mm. Okay? It's still the kingdom of God we're talking about here. Jesus addressed the kingdom. He did not address his personal address. Mm. So this is what happened when we look into the scripture. Like I said, it's just one verse. Look at it in a different way. Accept it and embrace it. God is there. Healing is there. Simple. When, when we are talking about scriptures, we are talking about Rema. See, Rema is the, is the, the active word. Good it's word. not a boring word. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I, I'm not preaching right now. I'm telling you this is Rema. Mm. Before, you, before you finish the, the preaching, they would say, I didn't get anything because there's no reman, there's no spirit in there. See that? Mm -hmm. when, when Jesus speaks, talking to a lot of crowds, do we imagine we're one of the crowds? I imagine myself, I'm, I'm listening there. So that we can, we can get the healing. Or they said, oh, it's not possible, it is possible. When we read the Bible, we imagine ourselves there. Yes. Imagine that. Imagine yourselves there. The rabbi is there. Jesus is there teaching it and listening to the word of God, to the kingdom. So imagine that one day after that, nobody will be sick forever. Mm. And he's doing it. He's just doing it like casually talking like this. Mm. See, no commercials involved, no publicity involved. That's mm. how powerful God is. Mm. And he was, and, and look at it, picture this, and he was going about every synagogue, every church, every congregation, is there's having a manifestation because God is there. See, there is no word, there is no manifestation. Mm. It's in the Old Testament, it says there, for the word, for the word of God is very rare. But they have the Torah. Why? But there's no Spirit of God in there. Mm. So when the Spirit of God arrives in the form of a flesh, in the form of a man, that is Jesus Christ, He is a living, walking, and talking word. And yet we don't listen. So no wonder we don't have healing. See, all the factors need to be coming together. What is good if there's a preacher but no, there's nobody getting healed? What is the point if there's a prophet but there's no prophecy re getting released and people are dying left and right? Mm. We, have a, we, have the, we have the Spirit of God in us. So if, yes, we are being a Christian for 10 years, but look at our body. Do we, do we see healing? Do we manifest healing? Do we experience it in a level that Jesus was doing it? Or only a one-time deal just because we went to a crusade? After two months, three months, the sickness went back again. And after that, the, there's a minister calling in for a lay hands and then you're the first one in line. Mm -hmm. This is reality now. See that? Imagine if Jesus was talking and walking in our churches. Uh, I'll be ashamed. I'm sorry, Lord. Uh, I'm not worthy. See that? And he did that demonstration right there. Jesus himself demonstrated what it needs to be doing in a congregation. Preaching and healing all manner of sickness. It's not just a special Sunday. It's a regular Sunday. Imagine that in your church. Nothing special not somebody's birthday, not anniversary, regular Sunday, healing is there. Look at it. Jesus did it. It's in the Bible. 
we just read it, we just look at it, but we did, we experience it in such a way, we will, it's one of those unforgettable experiences that we have. Do we have an unforgettable experience in the Bible? Mm. Or did we forget because what we experience? Mm. See, it's a difference when it's a good experience, it will, it will usher our faith to a different level. So this experience of healing, you don't forget, never, never. Mm. Why? It is Jesus performing it. Again, Jesus was doing it. Not, not the 12 disciples. The real McCoy, the real deal. All the unknown thing came from him. So imagine that level of healing. That's why this program is going to deeper insight. The more we go to the world, the deeper we are. And the deeper we are, better at healing we are. Mm -hmm. Because God never gets old. Yet Amen. He is older than time. So brothers and sisters, I encourage everybody to, to not just be a reader, but be a doer. Who, yes, we want the healing. Part of it is also giving tithes to activate the healing unction. Because the more we give, God will bless us. It's not just money involved also, the gifting is there. So all those factors contributed to what? A church that is so blessed beyond measure. Let it be your church. Let it be a, let it be a pastor or whoever you are. You know, look at it and say to yourself, Lord, I want to learn the healing like that. The moment I talk, healing is there. Brothers and sisters, this is one, one point of view of a meditation that God spoke to me a long time ago. And I'm releasing it on this air, airwave because God talks in a frequency of heaven. Let it be this frequency be your day today. Not just receiving the healing, be the healer itself manifested mm -hmm. in your household. If you so believe this ministry or this congregation is blessing you, this broadcast is, con is blessing you, tune in. Tune in, continue to learn from it. Because it came from heaven, it didn't come from research or Google. <laughs> Good word. Okay, it came from heaven. That's why it says, everything that I have only comes from heaven. Yes, we can use Google, but God is better than Google. So I invite everybody to continue meditating and looking into the scripture. Because Jesus said, as he is, so are we in this world. See, God can do it. We, should do, we can do it too. That is not a challenge. It's an invitation to encourage everybody, young and old, to step up into the podium of heaven. Because today is your day. I'm your fellow minister and one of the body of Christ saying to you right now, healing is there. Receive it, grab it, take hold of it. Better than procession is owning it. When you own it, you can let somebody use it and borrow it, but it will return to you. God is the owner of healing. Take possession of the, ho the owner. Receive God in your life so you get the best healer there is. As I close this, let it be a blessing to everyone. It's never too late to get Jesus in your life, to do better at the manifestations and everything. God bless you all. Until next time, Shalom. Great teaching. I hope you got that. You want to listen to it three times this week so you get it all. But it takes a lot of money and time for the prophet to come all the way out to our Orange County studio. So I would encourage you, if you want this kind of anointing, want this kind of teaching, you want to keep him on the air, please sow a seed. Whether it be the widow's mite, which nowadays is $10, or some people can give $25, which means blessing. 
50 means some people can do that. Jubilee means debt re, uh, canceled or 100. But know this, a cheerful giver and a consistent giver is who God's looking for. A one-time seed, but is welcome, don't get me wrong, but if you run it continually so, don't just give God a tip. You're giving it to God, not to profit, because God supplies His needs. But hear me, there's business people out there that can give a thousand. Come on now. You're not giving it out of your abundance, you're giving it out of your needs. There's a struggling business now, right now that I know for sure that can give $10,000 because he's hundreds of thousands of dollars short of his construction deal. Why not so it? You're that far away. Let God show you what is in his hand. Hear the salvations of the Lord from the prophet. Make sure it's right there on the bottom of your screen how to sow it, what to do. If you want to contact him, his email address is there. But make sure you pay attention to these programs coming up because he's going to go deeper and deeper and deeper. It's going to help you understand what God's calling you to do. Until next time, I'm Dr. Ken, your host, but the sponsor, of course, is the prophet himself, Julius. We'll see you next time on Marketplace and Authority.